Okay, this one's about the oxygen and acetylene torch set. A uh, few things I wanted to go over first, mostly it's safety issues with these things. The oxygen, of course, which is green. Uh, these things are about 2,200 pounds pressure that comes in them. A uh, couple little doohickeys about these things. This is a safety blow off, so if it gets too high uh, a pressure or temperature, it'll blow off. And it blows off, I think, four ways. So there's four little holes there. Uh, I don't know if you can see those or not. Uh, I'll get a little closer, maybe it makes more sense. Uh, so, if something were to happen where they got real hot or something, that would blow off. And it's not supposed to turn the thing into a rocket. Now these cylinders, it's not quite so much uh, a big deal as it is with some of the uh, uh, bigger cylinders. But the big cylinders, if the valve got knocked off, it turns into quite the little rocket. Very powerful, very destructive. Uh, these are smaller. I won't say you couldn't get hurt by these by knocking the valve off, but it's harder to knock the valve off because they're so small. Uh, they don't have a protective cap for these things uh, because of their size. The second thing about this, uh, well, I don't know if I said, 2,200 pounds of pressure is what they usually come with. That's a lot of pressure. It's a very pure gas, uh, probably well over 99% of it is oxygen, and they have to be really pure in order to, uh, uh, to work in cutting operations. So they're, this is very pure, and the purity of the gas makes a lot of difference in uh, how vigorously it accelerates burning. Because oxygen doesn't really burn, it isn't, well, I guess you could say it's consumed in a way, but uh, but it vigorously accelerates burning in that it just, there, there's more of it there. Fifth of the uh, atmosphere is oxygen. This is coming out at 100%, so it's really going to go. The biggest problem in our industry with that is if you get carbon, and that could be oil, grease, you know, every other thing under the sun. In here, or in the regulator here, where we're um, putting it on, if there's carbon in there, and I turn this on, it is 2,200 pounds on there, that will spontaneously explode. Literally blow this regulator to pieces. Uh, I don't know if it'll blow up the cylinder or not, but I have seen the regulators that are blown apart. And of course, if you're in the way of the thing, uh, you're going to lose some pieces or might get killed. So, these things should never be around oil. Uh, they also, I never leave these things open. Once I get the, uh, the replacement cylinder, I immediately put the regulator on. Uh, well, let's not do that yet. Uh, I don't want these things rolling around the truck. I don't want these things rolling around the truck. So I'm going to put the gauge set on. Now this isn't a new cylinder, but one of the first things you do when you get this and you're ready to put the regulator on is you crack it. Now. This doesn't have a lot of pressure. I think it's got about four or 500 pounds. Um, it really makes a noise if this thing's full. All I've done there is I've just blown crap out of anything that's there. So now it's ready. I can put my regulator on it. No joking about my regulators. Yes, they're old. Yes, they're bashed all the heck. Uh, but they still work. Okay, now it's it's ready to be used. Okay, this one's the acetylene. Okay, uh, you'll notice it says dissolved. 
Okay, acetylene is an interesting stuff. That's our fuel gas. And when the uh, acetylene is pressurized, if it's a pressurized above 30 pounds, it becomes unstable and could spontaneously explode. So, this is 225 or 275 pounds, I can't remember which, with a full cylinder. Okay, why doesn't it explode? Because it is dissolved. It's dissolved in uh, acetone. That's good and that's bad. If I turn this cylinder upside down or lay it down on its side, the acetone will run out the valve if the valve's open. And of course, if I got a regulator on it like that, I'm going to get acetone in the regulator and I'm going to have to get these things rebuilt. So, should not be laid on its side. Try to get one of these things. Uh, let's see if I can back up a little bit here. I think I bought this whole set. I've had this thing for a good 20 years. Uh, and it's still holding up. A few melted spots in it here and there, but uh, nothing big. So, uh, keep these things upright. Here again, I do not want this thing uh, open. Yep, here, before you get too rambunctious. Okay, I'm going to crack that one too. And then I'll put my gauge or my regulator on it. And uh, Now I'm, I'm ready to use these. One other thing I will show you, uh, these can be, the, the gauges do not have to be vertical, upright. I can, I can put them down like this. Now on this one I usually don't because this is pretty much protected up here, uh, so I'm not real concerned about it. But you can put them down like that, and sometimes it protects the gauges a little better. As you can see, my gauges have been knocked around a little bit. I should probably be replacing them, but I don't know. I'll replace everything. So, anyway, now they're ready to use. Uh, oh, by the way, you cannot mix these up. They're different fittings. Every gas has a different fitting. If I'm putting nitrogen in, it uses a specific fitting just for nitrogen. If I'm using oxygen, there's one just for oxygen, one just for acetylene, uh, there's one for CO2, you know, I guess all the other gases have a different one so that you can't mix them up. And that's setting up the regulators for the oxyacetylene uh, torch.